Okay, so we're actually going to do this one. I'm going to do some e to the power of x here. Okay, so let me just beat off this level real quick. Four minutes. Let's see if I can beat this level and the next one. And I'm I'm above 24 S E E or dollar E E 24.006, and she ain't climbing at all right now. Let her case out overnight, probably. So let's. I it's the machine gun drills. The M2 submachine gun here. Invest in so right now is my baseline. Again, I generally impact. take her up to three new a DT by .01 out to about 5 DT. Right, you just want to smash that out, four finger mash. The game is to, to describe what that action is in life. DT, some number that stretches out what we're talking about. And I'm opening up the subject matter for five. Right, I'm just DTing the uh, worried about everything. Anything could be a DT model derivative over a set, and you would, you would model it accordingly. So I just put it up to five. Because I've been casing out so long, you get nothing. Now, the next game I play, I'm not going to talk because I'm not going to have time to. I'm going to just be hitting numbers in a series of a pattern that is X, Y, and Z right on the line in a pattern. Now, there's a tighter one in there of different configurations of actually watching at this log, that thing dropping in an entropy state that keeps it to the timeline that is... Single hits into the pattern until she maxes out and you can't buy anymore for the platform that you're at. Now, that's not like the, the base money inside of a company, and then you'd say maybe platformed or parallel moving the floor product is the, is the momentum to the soft landing because that's what a trajectory will do before she gets mashed out. So we got her up to five. I maintain my variables. It's like we don't have enough money to change over. I might have platformed. So we have to start in variables say, you know, first. This may not be the perfect system, because usually I upgrade first. You know, but we're going to run this straight down. Y, Z, S, U, Y, Z, S, Y, Z, S, Y, Z, Y. And then, well, she dropped right off right now, but I've already got her to spike back over pretty quick in terms of my timeline. And she's going to rip right to the top. She's going to creep right to a 45 off of that with only that set of volatility to those number combinations. As you go farther out with this, the variables haven't changed over, DTs haven't changed over. I must have based something in really proud program here. So we got these. Our U is our first algorithm that popped up on this logarithm. That keeps it slowed down in such a way. Or I might be on a level here. I'm not exactly sure where I left it off. But we could change this. So I need to base my product, right? I'm just going to base X. I'm going to put more uh, number volume to how many tables you make. Or I'm going to tap the equation and say that's a contract bid on terms of a timeline compression. So she's going to rip up, right? She's going to turn up in terms of what, what goes on with this system. As you do that, you'll build this algorithm out. So if you follow that pattern all the way through it, through those cycles, what you'll get is maybe a little dip. And, and it's a Mayan hydron collider clock inside here to that rotation of what Y and X is inside of this compression on that spring. I, I like Elon for plateauing it. Sharp as goat path, build DT so and rip. Now, now any mountain can do that now, but it's got to be based off of their scaffolding in terms of names and players and investments, not shorts, the because they'll go right. All right, but to the DT the on those numbers, to the projection and stats. Does that search for yield in any way abate? I don't think to so. unbase that, I, I made the model back of when you drop certain things, invert pilot here, you would say, well, these drops are really show you that it couldn't support all this without a time. Timeline so or biomass or big investors that rate. So X Y over F dark matter. And uh, you know, so that that's gonna so oh, just get an achievement. Up, cool. Returns and flow so, your assets go up, and you're still getting an excess relative to the base rate. Is there a number though at which sort of that dynamic that changes if we were to get so to again, you know, and, and you'll why you but you'll what you'll notice on this logarithm is because they did when you crack open Pandora's box to hope here, what you'll see is that those numbers generate. Now, how do I recreate a system that does that with what? base semi-imperial mass equation I'm going to invert to this specific equation where you say y. Somebody integrated a y which isn't x equal to 2 plus whatever. It's going to 
have a two platform plus how many free ones you have. Um, so inside here, I forget where I'm really at. This one might be like 30 or 40, and because I've messed up the algorithm, it's going to make me force it. Now, again, hopefully we can just do this here. It's not really letting me. Oh, I'm on 100. That's why. Okay. So we go back to upgrades on that. Those are at 25s. We're smash out our variables. And I'll show you just how fast this can be. So, well, I mean, once you get going on it, let me see where my camera. She's gonna rip right away on you as soon as, and, and that should be about the max volatility. We're gonna switch back over to variables, start running down the cycle. Even if you miss one, that's okay. Even if there's one not in there that can be programmed, don't wait for it. And that should mash you out. So I just beat the level, right? Okay, there's my little white guy. I do that. We're going to hit prestige. Hit OK. Rip it down. Run to variables. Go up to the top. Make sure our, our increments are set right. And we're going to mash this out to five. The five DTs up top in the top right corner. Or in the top left corner. I'm just going to use four fingers to tap it inside of the bandwidth. Make sure that when we change that, we don't hit the cost button like we did on the last one. Send it back to 10. You know what? We'll do even one. No, we'll do 10. Okay. So then we're just going to run down the cycle on variables. Shit, actually, I think I was supposed to start with the upgrades. And if you do this wrong, the timelines will be different. You'll get compressed at the back end of the cycle. Don't press DT. Just run through the cycle. As, it's, as long as it's giving you up on that second cycle. The first one on upgrades, you just do them once, go over to variables, come back to upgrades. After you've maxed out all of your uh, variables, is before they start popping back up, go over to upgrades, start ripping those down, and then you're gonna hit that again for your variables, go through that cycle, max it out, max them out. And I'm already at 30,000 compared to the last time I was at a hard grind here. And it's because I messed up a couple of little things here that this thing isn't already beat. And I should just be able to tap this out as far as the equation to throw in a couple of contracts or bid while I'm playing this much of physical time in real time equation. So there's the level beat. We're going to go ahead and prestige it. And that's, again, because I messed up certain things. So again, we go up to upgrades, out to five, and just play some time. I want to build my company before I make any numbers. We're stretching out time and whatever basic incomes I'm running to do that. We're stacking it up, gaining some potential and momentum on it, all right? Okay, we're out to five. Slide it down, Y, Z, S, U, V. And go to variables and just rip down the list. And usually they'll, they'll stop blinking as you do it or you do them in order. Okay, go to variables. And then just mash all the variables out in the same way you just did for what that that other one was. And go back as soon as that's done. Come back through. Hit your DTs. Unload on that thing. Come back through. And she should be done here. I'm already at 31. And I shouldn't. I should just be able to coast the rest of the way through. Yep, there she is. And I just finished. Okay. So those are kind of the concept on how smooth that line can be, especially at the back edge of what that is, if you're not messing up what this equation can do. And obviously this is going to help you build a lot of momentum into that initial spike of your name being synonymous to going into some topics. Usually they hit hard like that. So catch you on the next one.